ladies and gentlemen across the galaxy gary can you do something right and get me a closer angle with them how are you lovely people doing out there coming back from an unsuccessful trip here i was supposed to go to taco donna but somebody programmed the coordinates for taco bell oh jeez. gay okay, guys just come on over come on over to the game we got some big stuff to talk about today we got more footage of some big news firstly we're starting to break our way to take it on supreme leader kylo ren although gary doesn't know the coordinates you can bet your bottom dollar we're trying to find a way to get the newly reworked darth vader to dominate every team in the game card in the top right hand corner if you haven't seen it already you're missing a lot of stuff i showed a video already showing vader easily take on ray easily take on gas easily take on jedi luke and so many other teams out there but i said in that video kylo ren is an up hill battle i got some stuff i want to show in regards to it. and furthermore i got a lot of questions saying can vader take on ray without the use of what tambor and <laughs> yes indeed ladies and gentlemen we're gonna see that more towards the end of the video i will say it's not gonna be as easy and consistent compared to the vader with Watt as i showed you in the video the other day but it is possible if you're a wattless owner and you want a chance to try to take on galactic legends there is a possibility with a little bit less viability as we'll point out in a few moments before we do so i want to give a little shout out here firstly uh you guys may have seen some footage already floating around especially from wiggins bog i saw this i tried this out we're gonna roll some footage but i want to give them a little shout out because it got me starting to think how we can take on kylo i tried out their lineup this they weren't trying to sell this as the perfect counter to galactic legends kylo is more of a proof of concept as they called it and i could not personally replicate what they were doing it is very difficult especially kylo with malik or kylo with the full first order team especially fast malik so one of the malik's we're going up against at 351 speed and it was very difficult point being this is just a proof of concept and i'm not saying darth vader lead will not be able to beat supreme leader kylo but the proof of concept wiggins bog was kind of the sheriff you guys don't know them check them out we talked about them before uh when we came with the jedi counter to galactic legends very important counter that people are using nowadays so that's why i want to bring up because it got my ideas going i could not get vader lead to work and i think one of the main problems is you got to remember what supreme leader kylo is all about when he's losing term meter he's becoming beefier and the whole thing with darth vader lead which works brilliantly up against ray he, like because ray's more defensive and vader's just going in there slashing away up against Kylo is a lot more difficult because I was able to get down to Kylo Ren at the very end, but he was so darn thick. It's very difficult to take him out. This is the best footage I had running that, that lineup for Wiggins Bog. But in a moment, we're going to transition into what I think will be the more consistent way of beating Galactic Legends Kyle. I don't feel as confident like in my Ray video saying, this has my stamp approval. Go out and slay yourselves some raids. What we're about to see in a moment, we will be able to beat some Kylo teams, but it's going to be very specific Kylo teams. As we're going to mention in a moment here, Kylo Ren is still a more dominant team up against Vader, more so than Ray's defense. But in a moment, we're going to be taking out Vader from the lead, deleting the whole uh, turn meter removal from his lead because that's just making Kylo way too darn thick. And what we were doing instead is we were going to rotate Emperor Palpatine in the lead now we see a lot of people get kind of cute with the galactic legends kylo lineup mainly they try to mix things up and put in non-first order characters you might see some maliks you might see some wat tambors you might see some thrawns you, there's a lot of different uh characters people plug in but the main problem is and i think this is going to be important for kylo ren owners going forward because yes there is possibilities vader can kylo uh, counter supreme leader kylo if there's not a full first order team we're going to show some failures going up against a full first order team but the reason why i'm bringing that up is because one of the main things people are neglecting and they don't really think about it much because gas isn't really a concern for kylo ren anymore now vader is and vader relies on the term meter whether it's from the blast tech weapon mod from Watt tambor or in this case the bonus term meter coming from the emperor palpatine lead and once you break up that full first order team hux's zeta just kind of it's not it's not working it doesn't work you need a full first order team at the start of the battle uh the, to prevent the bonus term eater because once vader gets rolling oh boy he just steam rolls over them like it's no one's business and because he's not removing turn meter through the vader lead palpatine doesn't remove turn meter he can easily take care of everybody on the field and your team just runs circles around the opponent so i can say this lineup right here if you're going up against a non-galactic full uh, first order galactic legends kyle lineup 
this will work you are gonna need watts and Borfus. i'm gonna try to push and see if we can firstly find a more consistent way of beating galactic legends kyle and then at that point we'll try to see if we can work without watts because i know a lot of people if you don't have watts and Bor, he's a free to play character but it's more of a time barrier character you need to play for a while get some good dark side teams and you need to be in a good guild to get watts and so i understand the frustration of not having watts and but as of now if you want to try to pull this off against galactic legends kyle you're gonna need Wat Timbor. I believe the footage we're going to see right after this battle is going to showcase a full First Order team, and it just gets shut down. It is very difficult to make these lineups work up against uh, Galactic Legends, Kyle. More importantly, the anti-bonus tournament from a full First Order team is really going to mess things up. But in a moment after this, we're also going to be seeing Ray. Now, as I already said, I, I think it's pretty much common ground amongst everyone in the community. I've been seeing so many people start using Darth Vader. We're actually seeing a little blip of Darth Vader on the meta report. It seems like people are utilizing Darth Vader. It is such a free to play accessible team. Darth Vader with the low gear Imperial Probe Droid, low gear Watt Tambor. You don't need a seven star Watt Tambor, Shore Trooper. And then of course, Darth Vader and his newly added Merciless uh, Massacre Zeta people are getting a lot of use out of it but i'm trying to expand the gates even more i was able to come up with a way of taking on ray without watt tambor and the oh boy we're gonna have a, a discuss this in a different video but it seems like there's actually some controversy going uh, behind the scenes in the computer there are a lot of people not happy with vader and his current vibe but we're gonna talk about that in a different video i digress we're running into the the full first order battle right now before we get too ahead of ourselves and talk about ray but here as you're gonna see uh it's gonna be a lot more difficult for vader to get his team going he's getting all of his bonus turns at the beginning which is cool and all because of merciless but once he loses merciless he stops getting term meter. as you're gonna see he can't feed term meter to the team imperial probe droid one of the things about imperial probe droid i failed to mention in the last video is that every time vader or an empire ally is using a special ability he's gaining turn meter which allows him to open up before thrawn you get the target lock applied at everyone remove the taunts and the thrawn can fracture ray or kyle that's why we have imperial probe droid in a lot of these videos because he takes away the taunts sometimes you come across double taunts and imperial probe droid is really the best way to just get a mass buff the spell but it's going to be extremely difficult and we'd even come close when there's a full first order lineup so i want to just always make sure you guys get the full picture i can't say he's gonna destroy galactic legends kyle that is not the case we can't use the title destroy galactic legends kyle he doesn't destroy kylo he's starting to play against him we're still working on perfecting the counter but ray on the other hand as we're seeing here if you don't have Watt Tambor, there's going to be a bit of a caveat. So long as your Vader's fast enough to open up. Remember, he's going to be getting plus eight speed for each Empire and Sith alley, and he, he includes himself. So he gets 16 speed for himself, 16 speed from Palpatine, and then 888 eight, eight from the rest of the Imperials and or Sith because we don't have any other characters that both have both the Empire and Sith tag. So he could potentially outrun a lot of raid teams. If you're going up against a Finn, for example, that's not really the fastest in the world. Vader can kind of open up. I don't know if we have uh, other footage here, but I have come across battles where Vader goes after Finn, and it's fine. So long as Shore Trooper soaks up the first initial punches, Vader will be able to go eventually. But it seems like if you have a good enough Vader, he should go right after Ray. Or worst case scenario, he's going to go right after Finn, and he'll just start doing his thing. And once you get the turn meter going, there ain't no stopping, baby. The Vader and Palpatine Express is in full swing. Give him an air horn. And uh, it's just it's so simple. This is by far the most free-to-play accessible counter for Galactic Legends Ray. I mean, Vader and Power, pa Palpatine and Thrawn, those are usually the first two legendaries you get if you go down the Phoenix route. It's definitely one of the first few legendaries you get in the game. And the rest is just... It's just so easy to access this. Of course, I'm not saying you can use your gear nine Imperials up against Ray. You're still going to need a good team, especially you're going to need to focus on the relics on Darth Vader. It's all about Darth Vader. Palpatine's just supporting with the stuns and the Terminator through his lead. Thrawn, he's just there for the fracture. And of course, Sherry, I mean, as you're saying, they're not even really getting that many turns up against. That is the main problem with Ray. She is way too defensive. They don't open up with 5 million damage like Kylo Ren does. So really, if as long as you have a good Vader, we're talking at least relic three, four, five, six, seven you're gonna be able to get some work done have them open up get the debuffs going your team's just gonna run circles around them because ray doesn't have anti-bonus term meter like kylo and ray doesn't open up with five million damage like supreme leader kylo look at that. boom deleted i gotta say this makes me happy a full empire team taken down galactic legends ray it is a sight to behold ladies and gentlemen who would have thunk who would have thunk it Right, Gary? Thunk, thunk, thunk. Thunk, we don't say thought. Who would have thought that Ray would have been taken down 
by the Empire. So I want to put that out there. Vader, Palpatine lead, no Wat Tambor, taken on Galactic Legends Ray. But I will say, my high stamp of approval for the Galactic Legends Ray counter is the Vader lead with Wat Tambor. That is by far the more superior lineup compared to Emperor Palp because Vader puts out more damage and Vader's going to get a lot of turns because the bonus turn meter from Wat Tambor. That is by far the best lineup to be running up against Galactic Legends. But if you're a Wattless person or a Wattless guild, this does have a good degree of success. I'm going to put this somewhere in the 70, 80 percent uh, viability in there. And uh, that might be me shortchanging a little bit, but I like to give you guys a good margin of error because I don't think it's perfect, but you are going to get a lot of success out of the Darth Vader rework and no Wat Timbor up against Galactic Legends. That's going to wrap it up for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you guys are feeling that a full Empire team is putting Ray in the ground. And I got to say, it looks like, Gary, Darth Vader has officially beaten every single team that the game has thrown at him. I have yet to actually test it out against Darth Revan. Haven't come across a Darth Revan, but I assume it's going to do all right. Ladies and gentlemen, like you did enjoy the video, comment down below and all your thoughts and the support for our empire. And I'll see all you lovely people in the next video. Where's that road ahead, Gary? Come on. I'm feeling good about this Darth Vader rework, but we got to get that road ahead coming in here. All right, guys. Peace out.